Uh, that one felt really, really good. Um, I've been looking for that since we had this break, and um, my first moto win for the, these, uh, these four races, so that was uh, really good. And then obviously it was for the overall, and um, winning here last year, it was cool to come back and back it up. And um, man, it couldn't be a better way to head into the break with some a little bit of momentum and kind of stop the bleeding a little bit. And now we can focus on what we have ahead of us. And uh, that race gave me chills when I went over the finish line. That was gnarly. Um, pace was high once again. and just uh it was an unbelievable race yeah how is that um kind of trying to manage that from your position because he was like right on you for a lot of time but then late in the motor he kind of backed off then caught again and then you could maybe feel him back off how did it feel though yeah it was tough because there were a few spots where i felt like i broke away and then um i had one big mistake and he stuck right back to me and then while there was lappers i just could never get away and um i just had to keep going i kept telling myself another lap another lap just keep just keep behind me and then uh, two laps ago, I threw down the hammer and just tried to get away, and that's um, that's pretty much how it went. So uh, it was it was a gnarly. It was, again, the pace is high, um, and it's just I think both motos. My second and last lap was my fastest lap, which is it's hard, especially for two motos to battle that gnarly. So um, good that we have a couple weeks off now, and um, I can improve and get some rest and also uh just focus on what we had to go yeah i mean it was uh the last couple of weeks have been have been a grind just been dealing with a lot of nagging stuff so uh this break couldn't come at a better time uh i'm gonna go home back to florida this week and just take the week off and try to let the body recover um trying to play catch up so much it's been uh kind of been putting ourselves in a hole in a way but um like i said the break's coming at a great time and uh, i'll go home spend the week at home see the wife and the kids and try to recharge and uh come back to california and we'll have two weeks to get ready for the for the last four as uh as you said you know you've had a rough couple of weeks here um is it still i guess rewarding though that even though you've had those rough weeks like the riding itself has been good and you've been up there battling the whole time still yeah i mean you know like it is for me as a racer it's really hard to just come to the race and, and not have the win mentality you know like I, I went through a, a phase where I was a guy that was contending for wins a lot yeah. and I know it's been a while so um the, the hardest part for me is just reminding myself that hey we are the most underprepared person on the gate considering Phil and ride coming off a of knee surgery like we are without a doubt the most underprepared guy so with that being said, it's I have to keep reminding myself of that, and it's um, it's it's hard. I'm, I'm very stubborn, and uh, I make stupid mistakes sometimes. And the mistakes tend to come when I when I ask too much of, of what's there. And um, you know, the crash at Millville was stupid. The first one was stupid. Um, and then it's just and today I had a moment in practice, and that was kind of like the probably should have been laid out, but got away with it type thing. And um, honestly, for a minute there, I was questioning even going racing because my, my ankle was so bad. But it was one of those things where it was just that was the reminder. Hey, like you keep trying to bite off more than you can chew. It's not going to end well. So, um, yeah, I mean, it is rewarding to, to just be racing again um, and to be with a guy. So it does feel good. Obviously, I want to do well for for myself and my stock to try to, you know, bargain for a ride. But it also I want to do well because I really – appreciate those guys giving me the opportunity you know so i want to do well because it makes them look well and um it makes me look well too you know but uh yeah it's been good it's nice to you know obviously the battles i'd like to be a little bit closer to the front but you know those guys at the front are gnarly and uh like i said we're a little bit behind the eight ball with preparation time but we're we're doing the best we can you, you know i i am happy with it um you know, first practice is always uh, tough. It's just kind of the track's still sloppy. Yeah. Second moto, my fastest time comes from there. Sorry, second practice. But uh, we made some progress this week with the bike, and it translated into the weekend, which was always nice. The, yeah. the race, I feel like, is the true test. And, you know, this track does favor me a little bit, for sure, just as far as how the, you know, my riding style and stuff. But, man, got a good start first moto. Got the whole shot. Chase quickly got by me. But, um, man, I just tried to hook onto his wheel, and for about two, three laps, just stayed right there. Yeah. And uh, that, that was nice. And Eli was right there behind as well. And um, I, I think for me, I really wanted to just go the distance with those guys. And, um, you know, no matter if I, you know, it, physically it was going to be tough. But um, th then we had a little bit of a bike malfunction. And nobody's fault. It's just it's racing. Had a little electrical issue. And um, so the guys, you know, re-gutted, redid the whole bike, make sure everything, electronic, everything, engine. And so the second moto... Um, I didn't have a great gate pick, so I was way inside, and I even kind of butchered the start a little bit too. 
and uh, I think I came around 13th. So, but the good thing was, I, I feel like turning the negative into a positive, I felt good on the bike. Um, I was able to ride the bike hard yeah. and the bike was working good too. And I, from there, I just started picking guys off. Yeah. And so, I mean, going from there to four, I got to fourth and was making a run in on third. Yeah. So overall, yeah, it, you know, not the overall we wanted and, you know, it's bike malfunction, but it was still a good day. Right, right. Um, in that first moto, I th you know, we talked last week about uh, early moto intensity. You're trying to kind of figure that out. Were you, like, satisfied then with how you felt on those first three laps? Because you kind of settled in pretty quick with them. I was, honestly, and that's something, that's the, the speed part I've been working on. And um, in the track, you can't override it either. So, like, you kind of have to be patient. So maybe that kind of suited a little bit. But, no, it was good. I was like, all right, Chase got away a little bit. We were making run back on him and, um, you know, I don't know. Who, who knows what it should have, could have, what it would have been. But, uh, yeah, it was it was fun, and we'll try to do it again here in a couple weeks. Maybe I should just complain about every track if that's the case. No, it's uh, – to be honest, I think I just got lucky today, really. I, it was a big luck factor, I think, with going 2-2 and Hunter having a fortunate – unfortunately going down the second one so I just got lucky on that one I mean uh, I think I could have pushed maybe to Justin but I had a few sketchy moments I'm like you know what I'd rather bring it home on two wheels I'd rather take a second or whatever that may be and and bring it home safe so I mean uh yeah lucky day yeah it seems like in both motos there were maybe times that you like you're the fastest rider on the track you're moving forward was that more management mode or you found lines or what was it just kind of managing really I mean the whole time I'm always thinking like okay the first one like should I go for Hunter in this one or should I maybe try and just keep him honest a bit where he's still pushing so then at the to the next one he might be a bit more a little bit more gas than I am so it's always kind of just like a looking into the future kind of thing, like trying to plan to set yourself up. I mean, second gate pick, uh, it's always, you still get a decent uh, gate, so it's always kind of managing the whole way through. You're always thinking of this, thinking of that, so yeah. Yeah, of course. It was, uh, it was a great second moto. Great great start to the day. We just kind of ventured off and down the wrong path with the bike, and we went back to what we started with on the day, so uh, yeah, I was uh, kind of lost in the first moto. Didn't have much intensity, but Got fired up for the second one, and you know everything was clicking. And it hasn't felt that way in a while, so it was pretty uh, refreshing to have that. And the the second moto came a lot easier than the first one did for me, and that's uh, that's uh, it's good it's good to feel that. So I haven't felt that in a while. Yeah, it seems like this year you kind of slowly been building back from where you were, and and now you've reached this level again. So now do you feel like things are starting to click the way where you feel like these last four you can go out and win just like you had before? Yeah, I uh, definitely feel like that. I feel like. Uh, that moto has been a long, long time coming, and I feel like it's it should have come sooner, but um, it's just come down to this. But yeah, it's this season's going really fast, eight rounds in already. So that part I'm pretty bummed about. We only have four races left, and it, I I've been making the progress. So I, I want more. Yeah. I want more time on the track. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it, and it's uh, it's good to be back up here. Um, yeah, really good. Qualified P8 again, which matched my best, matching best today. Um, yeah, I felt really good, comfortable. Uh, I, d I think it was smart to come to California, ride some really hard pack, went to Paulo, it was really dry that day, and then went to Elsinore, kind of set up the bike for that that kind of setting, and I feel like that helped a lot because we brought that setting straight to today, and I felt comfortable right away. Um, so that, that really helped, and I think that was a really good, smart move to do that. I was going to ask you, is it kind of rewarding to have two back-to-back -back weekends on very different tracks that end up well for you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I've been here a few times in amateurs, just some 50s and 65s yeah, yeah. on Rose qualifiers. And, uh, yeah, so I feel more comfortable here. This is, like, the almost local race for me because I've, I've been here. I know the environment. Okay. just feels more laid back yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah and, and this is the only track I've been to besides uh, Hangtown and Paul that's been more than once. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, that just felt comfortable with, with the bike setup and, and the environment today. So it just kind of worked out. Yeah, it wasn't a bad day. Like, first moto I was pretty happy with. I rode up with the front runners for a while that moto then had it tip over but like besides that it was good to run up there and kind of that pace is I'm getting close to that pace more and more this season but I just got to run it for a bit longer then uh yeah just improve on some things so yeah second moto is a bummer I kind of was rushing it early on and then got some arm pump and just wasn't riding like myself and like I was in the first moto so it's pretty frustrating on that but it is what it is yeah in that first moto you kind of closed up on Jet a little bit did you feel like you had that pace to like maybe run with him and, and, and get up there and make some passes yeah like that was my plan it was like latch on to him I learned a couple things from him and then I was like I had a few good laps I was like kind of got pretty close and then uh, I think it was like halfway or a little after halfway I kind of like lost his toe then I kind of it's tough when you lose somebody. It's kind of demoralizing, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it was good to run with them, though.